wanted to test a few SSDs uh, before making a final purchase. Uh, and what I was looking for was uh, at least, you know, 500 gigabyte, you know, one terabyte. And the primary purpose was to edit video, you know, using an external SSD rather than using my, my hard drive. Uh, some of the SSDs that I found that I chose um, uh, were pretty fast. Uh, ultimately, I made a decision. And if you'd like to see what my choice was, you can skip all the way to the back of the video. Uh, the first up was the Pioneer uh, SSD. This is an internal M2 uh, solid state drive. And uh, I use an external enclosure made by SSK. The drive itself is rated for 3,400 uh, and 3,000 you know, read and write speeds but obviously that would be internally. Uh, externally, I, I was not able to reach anywhere near that. Next up was uh, the Call Digit Tough Nano. This was a 512 gigabyte SSD, and it was rated up to 1,055 megabits per second. After that, I, uh, I wanted to test the Crucial X8 one terabyte portable SSD. This one was rated up to 1,000 50 megabits per second and I already own the Samsung T5 SSD in one terabyte so I tested that as well I also wanted to test two different cables alongside with the original cables that came with the drives I chose the Treeblet 40 gigabyte per second Thunderbolt 3 cable and also the Thunderbolt 3 40 gigabyte per second uh, wavelength cable First up is going to be the Call Digit Tough Nano, and here it is with its original cable. Here's the Tough Nano with a Thunderbolt 3 Wavelink cable. Now we have the Call Digit Tough Nano with the Tree Blade cable. Next up is the Crucial X8 one terabyte. This is gonna be with the tree blue cable. It does not have its own USB-C to USB-C. Here again, you could see it with the Wavelink Thunderbolt 3 cable. Next up is the Samsung T5 SSD one terabyte. It's gonna have its original cable first. Here you could also see it with the tree bleed cable. And finally the Samsung T5 with the wavelength cable. Next up is the Pioneer M2 internal one terabyte SSD. This is gonna be with an SSK M2 enclosure. And I'm using the original SSK cable first. Here it is with the wavelength cable. Once again, here it is with the tree bleed cable. Next up is one more drive I didn't get a chance to test. It's the Sabrent Rocket Nano. This one is rated up to 1000 megabytes per second. And uh, it's a tiny little drive and it was doing great in, until it started overheating. At that point, it, uh, it dropped its uh, speeds and it just it didn't seem very consistent, so I decided against it. This is my choice. I chose the Crucial X8. I was very happy with the read and write speeds, very consistent speeds. Uh, I had no issues uh, even you know, making this video with it. Uh, going from a, an external hard drive on SSD external hard drive to, to this SSD for editing purposes was incredible. The, the time that I've saved is it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. So there are other drives out there around this uh, type of speed, and uh, you know just make your own decision. You know make a move, uh, make the move because editing from external hard drives, you know traditional external hard drives, you are wasting your time. This is definitely an upgrade you need to make. 
And right now with the holiday deals, you know, just you know, take a look. You might be able to get something uh, even better than the prices that I, that I ended up paying for these. Uh, once again, I was not sponsored by any one of these. I definitely was not sponsored by Crucial. That is my own personal choice. I'm also not sponsored by Amazon, uh, but the Amazon links below will get you those drives. So check it out. If you like the video, you know, give me that thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much.